गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन यस्टरडेज क्लास आई जस्ट डिस्कस्ड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मार्केटिंग एंड सेलिंग एंड देन आई डिस्कस द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड द मीनिंग ऑफ सर्विसेस एंड इन टूडेज क्लास आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन प्रोडक्ट एंड सर्विस बिकॉज इन यूर आईसे सुशीलवास From product and service, only two things are there to be learned. Number one, you have to learn the meaning of product, and you have to learn the meaning of services. And then you have to learn the differences between product and services. And whenever you are going to write the differences, all of you are knowing the rules how to write the differences. Whenever you are going to write the differences. you have to write first basis of distinctions on the basis of which all points you are going to differentiate product and service and whenever you are going to write the differences beta it has to be there in tabular form first point to write basis of distinction then you write the product and then you write the services and the most important things this point of distinctions so if it is a five marks question i told you at the council rules you are supposed to write five differences but i always told you to write one extra if you write one extra and if any five marks are right you are supposed to get the full marks that is why i forced you and i request you always to write one extra point all right so here we are only going to discuss about the six point what are the first one tangibility it is very important and yesterday i told you the meaning of tangibility there you write products are tangible which can be seen touch and feel and which is having a physical existence like i given you the example of this particular duster this is a product which you can touch you can feel you can see and it has a physical existence it, is, it has a, okay second thing i do service service is intangible so the keyword here product is tangible service is intangible and you know the meaning of you write here service is intangible service cannot be touched service cannot be seen but you can feel it now the point number 2 perishability products are durable that means the product you can you can keep it for a long period of time on the other hand service are perishable means once you deliver the service the same service you cannot keep it for a long period of time so here right here product is durable service is perishable third point ownership yes sir also i told you the ownership of the product can be changed why because i told you like if you going to punam canteen and you want to buy the samosa जब तक शिंगाड़ा पूनम बेचता नहीं बेटा हु इज द ओनर पूनम इज द ओनर एंड दैट इज प्रोडक्ट जब तुम पैसा दे देता है एंड व्हेन यू बाइंग दो शिंगाड़ा फ्रॉम पूनम यू बिकम द ओनर सो इन प्लेस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ओनरशिप इज ट्रांसफरेबल बट इन प्लेस ऑफ सर्विस वन इज डिलीवर्ड इट कैन नॉट ट्रांसफर टू एनीवन एल्स नेक्स्ट पॉइंट रिस्क प्रोडक्ट हैज लेस रिस्क व्हाई product can be replaced because suppose if i bought this duster from you and if i found out something wrong in it maybe in the shape maybe in the size maybe somewhere else easily i can go to your place and i can tell you the duster or it been bought by me there is some defect in it so what are you going to happen you are going to return it that is why they said product has less risk because products are what you can exchange or you can replace it but on the other hand service has lot of risk because service one you delivered it cannot be replaced ek bar tum kisi ka dil mein dukh diya ek bar kisi ko tum hurt kiya beta it is for that particular incident or for that particular things you cannot take it back because the feelings will always be there that is why in product risk is less why because it can be exchanged if there is any de de deficiency or any defect in that product you can change it or you can replace it on the other hand service one you delivered you cannot replace it next thing 
quality products you can control this quality that means you can see you can easily you can do the you, products has a quality because a product can be produced according to the standard given by the buyer suppose if i go to a factory and if i told them i want a duster of this size this shape and same thing so that can be produced all the dusters can be of the same size same shape same way but on the other hand the service the quality cannot be controlled because same kind of behavior same kind of nature which may hurt someone else and which other people may enjoy it that is why they say service has no control on you because it depend on the person concerned on the other hand inventory that means product can be stored for future koi bhi product i have got this duster i can keep it for a long long period of time on the other hand service cannot be stored for future so these are the most important points what you are supposed to write if the question come from 5 marks if the question come from 2 marks write the differences between products and services if it is a two marks questions you are supposed to write two points but i am telling you you always write three points with points of distinction one more thing my suggestion to you beta whenever you are going to write this point of distinctions if you use black ink to write it that is better because if you write this point of distinction in black ink that is going to be attract the examiner's eyes so that he will be able to understand that the students are doing all those points on the basis of what they are going to distinguish them so these are very very important so you must know the meaning of tangibility you must know the meaning of perishability you must know the meaning of ownership race quality and inventory one more thing i want to tell you beta whenever you are going to write the differences you are supposed to write the differences in full sentences you cannot write it perishable uh, what durable perishable you don't write it your book must have been given durable perishable you must write it products are durable and service are perishable please always write the full sentences like tangibility tangible not tangible must have been given in your book you write the full sentences products are tangible which can be seen touch feel yes or no on the other hand services are intangible which cannot be feel touch or seen like that you are supposed to write the differences i hope i made it clear to you so once more i am telling you from this chapter what all things i taught you i told you the meaning of market i told you the meaning of marketing then i told you the objectives of the marketing and then i discussed the differences between marketing and selling and in today and, and, and yesterday class one more thing i discussed the meaning of product and the meaning of services and in today's class i just discussed the differences between product and services so what all things are there in 2002 icsc syllabus only those particular things i am discussing in your classes okay so please try to understand those things follow those things properly and do the sincere studies better thank you thank you so much for today's class